So, Sean, this is the entrance into where you're situated here? Yes, it is. Okay, so you may just explain to our viewers exactly what it's all about, first of all. Well, what they're saying is that it looks unsightly, and they say that it devalues the properties in the area. And they say if I don't take it down by the 14th of March, they will come and take it down, and I will be in Limerick Prison. On what grounds? On what grounds? An unauthorised development, and I failed to take it down by the 14th of March. So we're just going to have a look as we are going in along here. So on our right hand side is just maybe just the lawn side of it where you have your driveway here, yes. as we can sh see quite clearly on the video. Right. So going in along, it's it's a it looks a pretty good solid driveway, yeah. and here it's a temporary timber fence. It is. It's just kind of to, to to blend it off to make it look okay. And timber gates as well. Yeah. Okay. So we have the timber gates there and in along here so you may just now i believe it is a mobile home that you have down here it's so. actually a mobile home i lived in it for i came in here in june five years ago in the summer it was grand but in the winter time the water froze solid in the toilet and my clothes were black in the wardrobe so i got a chest infection bronchitis went to my gp explained the situation he said sean you're going to have to do something so I logged it out, got new windows, sent the heat and put in, and made it comfortable for myself. Now, how comfortable is it compared to what it used to be? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The water doesn't freeze in the tidal anymore. And what about your health? My health is better because, obviously, like if you're in a cold environment, you're going to suffer like with cold. It was freezing in there. There are new windows because the old windows were in it, but them old brown windows, they fell out. They were bad. But the whole thing is revamped, as you can see, and it's well done. So, Sean, again, for the benefit of our viewers, it is a mobile home with some uh, timber cladding outside, well, just timber on its own, outside. Explain to me about the roof. The roof is cladded insulation. The, the original roof on it is still there. It's basically a mobile home with inside a unit. It's a freestanding unit on the outside. Okay, so it's not attached? No, it's not attached whatsoever. It wasn't possible to attach it to the mobile home, the structure of the mobile home. So it's made up in a freestanding unit. You could open the front of it there, as you can see by the window, and the hitch is still there. Connect on the hitch and you That was my next question. Is the ball hitch it's still the, attached? It's still there. You could tow it actually out. Okay, so I'm just uh, down along. Realistically, Sean, you're not putting in the road with any of the neighbours or anything like that, so what is the major issue as far as they're concerned? The then? What they are saying is it's an authorised development that I applied for planning, which I did for five years retention to try and figure out what, what I was going to do. Then they didn't agree to that, so I went and I hit them again with full planning on it, indefinite planning. They knocked me on that, so they say it has to come down. What are the options now? There is no options. Okay, so you have been to court, and what was the last answer on that? Court on the 14th of December, the judge is ruling what if the property, or what I have, is not taken down by the 14th of March, on my next sitting, and the 4th of April, I will go bring a bag, I go to Limerick Jail. Okay, so what are your views on that now in relation to going to, going to prison, if it goes to that? Well, obviously, at my age, I don't fancy the prospect of going to Limerick Jail. But if it is the case, I am prepared to go to Limerick Jail. I'd be better off in have Limerick... Have you any fears of going no, in? No, I have no fears. Why what? is that? It just does. I, I'd take a stand on this. Right, OK. Like, I, I've nowhere else to go. It can't be one law for me, and they can build everything for other people involved and whatever. But me, they say, no, I can't live here. I don't, I don't just get it. I don't get it. OK, and... Again, I'm only just taking in the roof here at the moment. So it is, a, is, would you describe this as a permanent structure? No, no, it's not permanent. The mobile is within the unit you can actually see on the video. It's a separate structure. I could take out the mobile home and I could actually live within the structure itself. It's basically like I parked the mobile home in a wooden garage. And you have uh, just a little, uh, no, that shed at the back is not attached to it or, and that's... There's nothing attached to it. What you see is what you see. There's nothing attached to the actual structure itself. So what, what would you like to see happening then, Sean? What would you, I know obviously a bit of maybe common sense prevail. Yeah, I, I understand what they say. They say that people can't put these up willy-nilly all over the country. I can go with that. 
But the way I look at it for families now, if they have a son or a daughter, if we were allowed to put something like this up, they could live on it until they get some money together to actually buy a property of their own. Because we do know that there is a there massive, is a house massive house housing housing. crisis. My own sons will never own the house, or daughters. They will never own a house. But if they would allow it like this, they could live in it, save some money up without paying exorbitant rents, then move on, buy their property. The next sibling along the line could follow suit and do the exact same thing. Like we used to years ago, my brother had a jumper, I got it. We handed it down along the line. It makes sense for something like this. Is there a public meeting coming up soon, I believe? There's a public meeting in the Wynn Community Centre Monday night at 8 o'clock. All I can do is only just wish you the very best of luck. My heart goes out to you. Thank you very much.